Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and I'm back with my Soul Level 1 challenge run for Dark Souls 2. Alright, let me go ahead and throw my helmet back on. I like to take it off so you guys can see my pretty face. And we need to complete No Man's. This place is kind of going to suck. It's not really a hard place or anything like that. It's just somewhat annoying, I guess. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. He will always get up and chase you down, so it's a good idea to go kill him. Now, there's no reason to really come over here, because you get like a soul of a proud knight over here. And yeah, I don't really need that. Ow! That hurt, you bastard. Give me your item. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's go up top real quick. Oh shit, I'm like getting stuck on the stairs. Alright, let's kill this guy. I really don't like these guys. That's one reason why this place is kind of annoying to me. It's because of those guys. They have like this one attack where they will literally demon lunge at you and it's just really stupid. Because then when they hit you, they'll hit you like three times. And if you don't have a lot of health or armor or anything like that, they will fucking destroy you. So, I need to be extra careful. Plus, they can throw this shit at you. Maybe you guys should know what I'm talking about. I don't really know what it is. I think it's like tar or something like that. And it doesn't do any damage to you when they throw it at you. So you're like, oh, what? was that I mean they just threw something at me and, and didn't do anything well then later you'll get hit by like a fire arrow or you'll light a torch and you'll explode and that just really sucks so those enemies are pretty freaking annoying that's that's for sure let's go ahead and grab that the dark pine resin oh yeah there it is right there too at first I thought they were throwing like shit piles or something at me I mean who knows it kinda looks like a pile of shit to me uh, I can't really tell. Alright, kill this fool. Now, there is an item. Oh shit, I hate those guys. The lurkers. There's an item over here. I guess I'll go grab it real quick. But there's no reason to actually come over here and grab this. It's just some arrows. But, you know, hey, if you want some arrows, there you go. Oh shit! You know what? I can actually use those arrows. I'll show you in a second. Let me come up here and fight these enemies. And I'll show you something really cool that you can actually do in this area. Now, I'm not going to... I'm not actually going to exploit this, but there is like somewhat of an exploit that you can do here to skip almost this entire area really quickly. So, I mean, it's really cool. Let's pick that up. Best thing about the dogs is that they can drop those souls of a nameless soldier. That's 800 souls. I mean, that's really badass. Go ahead and kill this guy. Now, I can show you this. I can't even remember where you have to stand for this, but you know what, guys? I can't even do it. I don't have the bow i never grabbed the short bow from the blacksmith place but if you have a bow this is what you can do i think it's from here yes yeah, like from right here what you can do is if you have a bow you equipped it and if you look off in the distance you'll see that bell and what you have to do is you have to go over there and pull a lever and it's going to ring the bell well if you use a bow you can actually shoot the bell and it will ring the bell and then the boat will come so, I mean, that's really fucking awesome that you can do that and basically skip, like, most of this area. Alright, now these lurkers, I really don't want to fight them because they're kind of OP and they'll probably kill me in, like, two hits. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip this torch and I'm going to run past these fools. Now, I guess I'll go up top and try to talk to uh, Glavon because I do want him. I want him to move and stuff, so let's go do that real quick. But, yeah, if you want to run past these fools, you have to be quick. I mean, you have to be real quick. See you later. Also, don't worry about these two chests. I'm not even going to try to open them because these guys are going to, like, come through here and try to kill me in a second. Hello, hello, hello. Governor yeah, yeah. Weird. See ya. All right, now he should move. And, yeah, I don't want to fight those guys. One problem with those guys, especially for, like, this file, is that I cannot one-hand this sword. And if you can't one-hand the sword, there's no way I can fight them with the torch equipped. So that's going to really suck for me. Oh, shit. Oh, give me that. Alrighty. You can actually get their sword, and their sword's really good. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. Ah, leave me alone. Fucking douchebag. Hate these guys. They do too much damage. Alright, he's dead. Anyway, yeah, their sword's actually really good. In fact, it's almost as good, if not better, than the sun sword. I mean, that's how good that sword is. Alright, but yeah, we have to actually come up here and ring the bell. But remember, you can snipe that thing with a bow. 
And that's just really badass. Alright, let's go ahead and hop down here, pick this up. And now we can go and get a shard, an Estus shard, and we can also get like a whole bunch of other really awesome items over here. Let's just go and open this door up. Now be careful in here. I really hate this area because of the poison barrels. Oh, see, like that. The good thing is that he just got poisoned, but if you get poisoned, yeah, that really sucks. There's like no way to heal it. At least I don't think I have a way of healing it right now. And it would probably kill me, you know, or I would have to like burn through a lot of my potions and stuff. And I, oh shit, this thing's still alive. Rah! Now it's dead. But you can get a large Titanite shard right there, and that should make basically six total that I've collected. Which also basically means that now I can go ahead and level up my sword to plus six and then if I can get myself a titanite chunk I can get it to plus seven so that's really awesome now there's an item over there but without like a bow or something I'm probably not gonna get it because if I break those barrels or urns actually they're like urns but if I break those urns I will be poisoned so I really don't even want to risk that okay let's come over here and open up the shortcut also, you can get yourself another large Titanite shard, if I remember right. So yeah, this is a fake wall right here. Open this bad boy up. I believe this is the one with the... No, that's just some fire bombs. Okay, nobody cares about that. But this is the one that will have the large Titanite shard in it. Hell yeah. So that's really awesome. Now let's go up to the top here. It's going to be an enemy. Urgh, bitch! Leave me alone! Remember, the one problem, the one problem with the broadsword is that it doesn't have that much range. Now, I could summon the NPC, and I kind of want to, but I don't know. A couple of you guys have said, you know, if I'm not going to do any co-op, like actual online play co-op, I shouldn't summon any of the NPCs either. So, I'm not going to summon that NPC, and then you guys let me know in the comments... Should I summon other NPCs? Because, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fights in this game. And those fights are going to really suck if I can't summon, like, NPCs, you know? I mean, yeah, it's going to really, really suck if that's the case. So, let me know, like, can I summon NPCs? Or do you think that's not fair if I'm doing a Soul Level 1 playthrough? And I will try to follow that. Alright, now this part kind of sucks. I really hate this part. We have the lurkers that are going to kind of chase us down, and that sucks. And we're going to have these two guys who are going to try to jump up right here. So come on. Come on up. And then, yeah, you can knock these guys off, but you need to be careful because you can actually lunge off or fall off uh, the dock if you attack, like, let's say, twice close to the edge. Because, unfortunately, that happens all the time where you, you think you're good, but you're not. You're going to fall right the fuck off, and then you die. Alright, but let's go ahead and get on the boat now. And we need to go fight this boss. I don't really even know why I'm doing this area. I guess I'm doing this area because it's an early area in the game I can do. But the reality of this place is that I don't really need to do this area. I could have just skipped it. Because I already, like, have unlocked the other side of this place. I guess I could skip, like, the Rune Sentinels if I wanted to. Because that boss battle, oh man, that, that boss battle is going to suck. That's gonna really suck as a soul level one. I'm not looking forward to that at all. But I guess I'll try to fight that boss in this episode. That would make the most sense, you know. Alright, let's come down here. And I guess I'll use a life gem real quick. I have 14 of those. Hell yeah. Uh, let's go on through. Now this boss is actually really easy. It's easy to dodge. You want to keep the hammer side basically and then when when it slams the ground like that that's when you go in for the attack you can also block a little bit if you want but yeah you want the slam and then you basically hit this boss twice or once if you're me yeah but the slam is really easy to avoid and it's really easy to counter one two come on you know you want to do a third one okay one two nice Let's see if I can get two hits off. There we go, finally. Oh, shit, that actually hit me. Let's go ahead and hit this thing twice. And I need to back off. Whoa. 
Okay, let me use a life gem. You can use this, like, center thing to, um, help. Alright. One slam, get one attack off. Come on. Yeah, that's what you want. Sometimes it will not do the second hit. So that kind of sucks. Come on, do your second hit so I can counter you. There you go. Urgh, Three hits. No! Alrighty, that was actually pretty sick. See, that's the problem with the damn fucking broadsword, man. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but sometimes I'll swing twice and I only hit it once because the broadsword has, like, no range. That is really lame. I've never even seen that attack. Actually, yes, I have. I'm just tripping. Alright, that's a two-hit combo, so... Come on. There we go. We might be able to finish this thing off next time it does the slam attack. There you go. Slam attack. And just fucking die. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Bam. Alright. Let's go on through here. Oh, yeah. You know what I just thought of? Earlier I said that I don't really know why I'm doing this area. There's no reason to do it. But there is one reason to do this area that I can think of right now. And that is to get the Pyromancy Flame. Which is something I really want to get. Because I can use Pyromancies. They require no stats to use. And all I need is like attunement. Which I can't get. But I could just get the Southern Ritual Band plus two. And that's like three spell slots right there. So I can equip maybe Firestorm... Chaos Storm. Actually, there's no way I will probably be able to get Chaos Storm because that's just going to be impossible as a soul level one. But, you know, maybe I can try to figure out a way to get it, but I seriously doubt I'll be able to. But yes, I could use Firestorm, Great Fireball, maybe just Fireball or Fire Orb or something like that. But, I mean, yeah, I could totally pull that off. So, you know, Pyromancies might be the spells that I will end up using. And I know a lot of you guys have been like recommending that. I've been reading the comments and I've been seeing that. I just haven't actually brought that up yet that I can use pyromancies. But I I totally forgot. Like in my first episode when I was talking about how I could use spells by spicing them down. Like I totally forgot about pyromancies and you guys were so awesome and reminded me how stupid I am. So thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick this up. That's the soul of a proud knight. Once again, don't really need it. We have 45,000 souls right now. And I really don't know what I could even spend these souls on. I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do the Rune Sentinels next. Although I really don't have to. I mean, I guess I could just head over to like Huntsman and come back later and do the Sentinels. And maybe I could do like... Um, I could probably do the Lost Center later too. I really don't want to do the Lost Center right now. I probably would rather do Huntsman before I do the Lost Center, so we'll see what happens. I just need to make my way over to McDuff's workshop. Die, fool. Stupid dogs. Oh, God. You idiot. You just knocked down that guy. Ah, you annoying dog. Stop doing that. All right, let's fight this fool. Oh, my God. That was a lot of damage. Oh, God. And another dog. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Well, that's my first fucking death, and that just was a really lame and lousy way of getting killed. Alright, there we go. Now, this guy's gonna fall down. Let's take the time to kill him real quick. Oh my god! Stupid asshole, man. He just does way too much damage. Alright, but it is important to actually kill that guy, because I do want to come over here to grab this. This is another shard. So this should make, what, five potions? That's pretty badass, you know? I am definitely going to head over to Majula real quick in a second here once I get to McDuff. Because I want to upgrade my potion. And I guess I will also use my bone dust. I always forget to use my damn bone dust. I will collect bone dust throughout the game or playthrough or whatever it might be. And I always forget to use it. I don't know why. I think it's because... You have to rest at the bonfire and then use it. So it's just something that I always forget to do. Die! Oh man, I totally missed that attack. Alright, so let's come over here now. And warp back over to Majula. I'm trying to think, is there anything I can actually buy with these souls that would be good? I guess I could buy like some life gems, human effigies, things like that. 
don't really need those things, but, you know, hey, why not get them? I could also buy fire bombs. I think you can buy, like, an unlimited amount of fire bombs. That actually might be kind of useful. Let's see. Okay, before I actually do that, let me go and upgrade my weapon. And I could maybe upgrade my armor a little bit, too. Let's see. Here we go. Awesome. So now the sword is at plus six. I also should upgrade my shield, I guess, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's see about the armor. Okay, I don't want to use large titanite on that. Although that would be kind of a good idea, I guess. Let's see. Let's upgrade these legs. And I guess I'll upgrade the helmet once. And fuck it. Let's upgrade the armor once, too. Why not? You know, having a little bit of extra physical defense will definitely help in the long run. Alright, let's talk to her and upgrade our potion now. So this will make it four potions, which is awesome, but who cares about four potions when I can have five potions? Yeah. That's really going to make a big difference for, like, the Rune Sentinel fight, because this fight is going to suck. Alright, now let's go ahead and use our Bone Dust. I also have a bonfire aesthetic. I started with that as my gift because I really didn't need that petrify something. I talked about this in the first episode, but I didn't need that because all the weapons that I could have got, they're weapons I can't use, so who cares. The bonfire aesthetic will come in handy because I will be able to get certain things maybe with it that will be awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and buy... I guess we will buy... Dude, I don't know. I think I'll have to buy these. I can buy 95 of those. Okay, yeah, we're buying 95 of those. <laughs> I could totally use those. Let me equip them. Oh, I do have them equipped. Awesome. Alrighty. So I'm not really worried about anything else right now. I guess let's go ahead and travel back to McDuff's workshop. And we'll try to fight the Rune Sentinels. Now, the Sentinels, I've never found this boss battle all that hard. I guess I found it hard my first playthrough. I remember when I did this for my first playthrough, man, I was getting wrecked. But then I kind of figured out how to beat it, which is basically like block, 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 attack, attack, attack. Like that's a really easy and consistent way of beating the Rune Sentinels. But I really do see myself having problems with my solo level one run. Primarily just because, you know, these guys, there's three of them and you have to kind of kill them fast. Oh, man, I'm getting fucking murdered by these dogs. Ah, oh, leave me alone! Please, just leave me alone! Oh, I hate dogs. Ah, look at them lunge at me. Screw you! I don't even care about killing you. There's no reason to. Alright, let's come in here. But yeah, you do want to kill the Rune Sentinels as quickly as possible, because... If you take too much time, well, then the other ones are going to, like, basically come at you. And that's going to really suck. Okay, honestly, I don't even want to fight those guys either. I'm just going to climb up the ladder. So let's go ahead and grab this, because this is a human effigy and a soul of a proud knight. That's pretty badass, actually. And yes, you can climb up this ladder, so you can always skip those guys. It's real easy. Just skip them, climb up the ladder... And then let's go on through. I'm going to have my witching urns equipped because I could maybe use them in this fight. Actually, no. I'm going to have my potions equipped because I'm going to get fucked up. Watch. No, bitch. Urgh. Okay, I'm doing a decent amount of damage. I should, You know what I should have done? Now that I think about it, I should have used uh, my automatic ooze. I have some of that. Too bad I didn't think about that. Urgh, bitch. Come on. No, I hate that attack, man. I really do. That attack I hate. Okay, I want to keep some of my stamina. Fucking stop with that attack! And I'm dead. Fucking shit! I hate that attack. It's so annoying. That's the hard one to dodge. Well, it's not that hard to dodge. But it is harder to dodge than, like, the vertical swing. Alright, so I have my ooze now. You know what? I just realized I've always been calling this the automatic ooze. But it's actually the aromatic ooze. So, wow. I didn't even ever pay attention to that before. See, that swing is so easy to dodge. That vertical crap. Ugh. The horizontal crap is not... Oh, no! Okay, he will jump back up, though. But stay away from the edge. But yes, he does come back up. So that's good. Get one hit off. Whoa! Yeah, that one, too, is really easy to, to, to dodge. Now, when he gets to half health, he should stun. 
He generally stuns when he gets to half health. What the hell? Whatever. You're going to die, bitch. There we go. Wow. He only got stunned when he got literally to basically no health. He had one hit left in him. Alright, so basically, you can chill up here and wait for the next one to come up. But you're, you're only going to have so long a fight in this one until the other one will come up and fucking destroy you. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop down now. Yeah, I, I want to hop down just because I'm about to get fucking destroyed. Oh, no. This guy's coming at me. Fuck you! Oh, he hit me too! Oh, my God! Are you serious? That range, bro. That fucking range. Man, this is gonna suck. My souls are down low now. So if I get killed by this first one, well, there goes my souls. But like I said before, I'm not really too worried about losing my souls in this playthrough. I mean, who gives a fuck, honestly? That is the truth. There we go. Wow, he did that twice. That is fucking awesome. I mean, look how much damage you can get off at on him when that happens. Okay. I want to block him. Okay. Okay. If I block him... He does barely any damage. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and heal. And yeah, we're just gonna chill up here. Wait for the next one to come up. And when he does, we gonna fuck his ass up. Or at least we're gonna try to fuck him up. Get my potions out. Come on, bitch. Come on. Do that vertical swing. Please do the vertical Yes! I love you! No, he hit me though. That's not good. That's not good at all. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, your buddy's coming up top. Okay, no, 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 screw you! Alright, this time... Oh, God, run towards the souls, dude! Heal. And here they come. Alright. Oh, God, that was close. Come on. Oh, he's gonna throw his fucking thing at me. Oh, shit, man. And here comes the next shield. I don't understand why they throw their shields like that. That's kind of stupid to me. Oh, my God, that hurt so bad. I love the music for this fight. No! Again! <laughs> he got me with the range of that attack. Oh, man. That's my last ooze. So, if I die again, that's it, basically. I'm going to have a pretty annoying time trying to do this. Urgh, bitch! Just, I'm going ham, man. Nope. And nope! Oh, shit! That sucked, the big one right there. He knocked me right off. Oh, no, you did it, did you? You son of a bitch. I hate you. I hate you so fucking much. Let's go. All right. At least I'm doing better now. Kind of. Come on. Should not have used all my stamina. Wow. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna get fucking smacked, watch. Get away from the edge, bro. Can I lock- Oh, he fell. Oh, fuck, he fell! That means he's jumping back up. Come on. Back up here. Wait, where's he coming back up from? Oh, no, I'm fucking scared, guys. He should come back up, but- there, oh, there he is. Like, generally, he comes up, like, right away. Urgh. One, two. Yes. Thank you. Why can't the other ones just keep doing that, right? There we go. All right. When this guy jumps up, I'm going to smack him in the face with a witching urn. You can actually, like, stand off the uh, side of the edge and shoot down at them a little bit. Urgh, eat that! Wow, that did a decent amount of damage. Look at that jump attack, bro. Come on. Before your buddy gets up here, do a swing or do something, man. Please! There you go. No! Damn it! Ah! Fuck! I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. Life is just... BULLSHIT! Fuck Dark Souls 2. Fuck Soul Level 1. Fuck the Rune Sentinels!
fuck from soft. Fuck YouTube. Fuck it off. Ah! Oh, I knew I was getting smacked. Oh shit! Come on, vertical swing, please. Do it. Do it. Do it for daddy. Uh, yeah, you did it, but you did it at the totally worst part. Whoa, he can do that up here? Are you serious? He can actually do that up here? All right, jump up top. Should have actually, I should have stayed locked on. Cause I want to smack him with one of these. It's like easy damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Idiot. He's gonna lunge right off again. Eat that! Jump on up. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Whoa. Alright, let's kill him. Well, that took me a long time to actually kill that one. Whatever. Oh my god, if I can kill two of them, see here's the key, if you can kill two of them, this fight is fucking over, because it's easy to kill these guys one on one, it's just really hard when there's two of them on you, or three of them on you, or whatever it might be, that's when the fight's kind of annoying. Wow, I actually dodged that, that was pretty epic. I'm kind of waiting for the other one to come up. Come on, do something. Okay, fuck it. I hate it when you drop, because you gotta drop eventually, but when you drop, you take the fall damage. That really sucks. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Not that that even matters. I don't know why I'm doing that. Fuck you! I hate that attack. I really do. That thing has way too much fucking range! Right, come on. Which one's the weak one? I don't even know. Ah, fuck! I can't. I can't, like, get a fucking footing in this fight. That's really the key. You, you gotta, like, be able to, like... Uh, here we go. Alright. You gotta, like, get a footing, you know? And what that what I mean by that is that you gotta be able to, like... Oh, fucking shit! You gotta be able to kind of stand your ground and keep them both in, in sight. And then start fighting them, you know? Come on. We're getting this one really weak. Whoa, that was that thing just jumped so high. Come on. Oh hell yeah. I'm just going for it. Oh no, 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 I'm not going for it. Ah! This is like the worst. You don't want that to ever happen when they one gets behind you. Because now I can't fucking see. Okay, good. No! Why you gotta do the cheap attacks? Like, fuck, just do the normal attacks, bitch. Don't do the cheap shit. I didn't want to do the run attack, but whatever. Oh, that actually hit me, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need a block! Okay. Whew. We're down to one. I could even cheese this thing with fucking throwing urns. I'm not going to, though. Yeah, it's over, though. I mean, it really is, because... This is real simple now. As long as I can keep some stamina, I'm good. Then yeah, you just basically let it attack, and then you counterattack a couple times. Come on. There you go. Just remember, a couple times. Don't go crazy with your counterattacks. I can't believe I've had this much trouble with these Sentinels. I knew that they were gonna be fucking annoying. I didn't realize it was gonna be this bad. Whoa. 
Oh, ho, 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 you're a tricky one. I see how you like it. Fucking bitch. Pretty stone here. I should get a stun. Ah, oh, that's it's over. It's fucking over. Finally. Yes. Oh my god, that was annoying as hell. Okay, is there anything here I need to grab? Not really, I don't even fucking care. Oh, let's go up top now. That fucking sucked. The big one right there. Let's go ahead and open this up. You get a spell in here, but uh, whatever, who cares. And let's open the door up. We can go ahead and grab these, um... Homeward boners over here. And then, yeah, basically make our way over to the servant quarters. And, nope, I fell. Alright, whatever. Look at that shield stuck in the door. Now, there is another invisible wall over here. And I believe you can get, like, some, um... Rouge waters or something. Yeah, I think you get that over there, but I don't care about that. Right, let's go on through here. Light this bonfire up. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. It's been a bitch. I've raged so much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have enjoyed this episode, will you please like and favorite it for me? I always appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out.